Sun in, and now it is going to be Yango Galacticos bringing the back up. In comes the smoke from behind. Green up train gets rooted up. Does manage to blink out as the tiny airline does not quite connect with the Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden will put Boom Bui in place. However, there is a huge ravage into a two man chronosphere. And skill A goes on down to KNP. EB almost goes down to the Crystal Maiden ultimate, but is able to get himself out for it. Now the KNH comes in to finish him off. Is now going to jump at KNP's void instead. With the Firefly void, has the time walk out of there. Is still trying to tank up as best he can. Another time walk is available, Case H. Two seconds left on that dagger. Now Spectre wants to fight into the Earthshaker instead, but Earthshaker, he just waited for that huge echo to come on out, and that is going to be a double kill for But that mid tower has been worked on before Dyer's by the Queen of Pain, so. Thanks for that fortification. Yuri Vezuan's still going to finish the tower a little bit faster and try to have that payoff with huge smoke gank into three people. In comes the ramps onto two. Where's the fall from? Now they say as they slam like the orange can start things off. Now AT is going to be the next target. A beautiful echo slam. However, it is just going to be Queen of Pain for an Oracle so far. And thanks to that haunt, instead, things not looking so good for Yuri Vezuan anymore. Tight Hunter could be in a bit of trouble, does have the Vladimir's up to try and keep himself alive. BNT is brawling against three people, but in comes the board, and with all of that magic damage, it is gonna get too much for I even him. With the fishes. Space created for the Queen of Pain minutes of just not being a hero into a worthwhile farming item real quickly. Crystal Maiden on the mid lane, gets poked down and in comes KNP with a one-man chronos. We have Tiny did get the toss out, false promise up on the Tiny AT. Just being kept alive and finally the tiny goes on down. That means the freezing kill is not gonna take long enough as Crystal Maiden no longer has that beef from him. But it's not like they can just put that Roach at minus 5 armor. Like I thought was gonna be the case here. The yeah, Angon, they know full well what's going on. Crystal Maiden will get the D ward there, but they are still gonna be a bit too late because the eggs were coming around. Four man toss as an avalanche to go with it. Nice dagger from the Spectre. Ekastan has been committed. Lun still alive, but there's the Queen of Pain ultimate, killing off the Oracle as well as the Tiny. And now, down goes that you can still do damage while your Chronosphere up. I think it's valuable enough on its own here. As for the Faces Void, he is gonna opt for a Lincoln Sphere. Slightly unorthodox build, but oh, look at that initiation. Five man, no four man ravage into a three man echo slam. And Lan on the Crystal Maiden looking to turn it around with the breathing field. It's gonna get a kill on the Earthshake, and TNT is gonna fall as well. Crystal Maiden just does ridiculous amounts of damage, but in comes the Void with the BKB and still wants to clear up the Spectre. It's gonna succeed in doing that. Oracle though, and that means Spectre is just gonna be able to turn that around. Dagger onto KNP, who also got Avalanche, is now gonna get tossed back. It's gonna be lit on fire by the Bad Rider. In comes the root. You have to press the BKB, is still trying to man fight this up. Spectre taking huge amounts of damage at this person. It is strong, but it's not gonna keep your life against three people hitting you. As Spectre is gonna go down, so will the Oracle who saved your life earlier. 10k gold now for Universe 1 as they are looking for more. And down goes the Crystal Maiden after. Out of team fighting positions quite quick. Enough pain blinks forward him to initiate, but the BKB is gonna initiate. On to Skill A, who is just forced to false promise himself. Queen of Pain still looking for hope. Skill A will get himself back to the base. Lan, thanks to a good freezing field, gonna output some void. Doesn't have a chronosphere, but he can still be scary. If he gets behind you and into good slow on a hero with all the spells on cooldown, then that hero is just gonna be dead. Also, KMP has the Lincoln Sphere, so fading out single target spell, something he is really happy with. Now, Oracle is gonna get caught thanks to and part of the Lincoln Sphere and a really good fissure once again hitting from Boom Booey. Goes them onto two. That is gonna be Crystal Maiden stun locked up, taken off the map, as will Young. Then you calculate it for on the Spectre. Or, you know, buyback of the Oracle with that false promise coming in. And there is the next initiation. Three men stun, BB being kept alive by it. And so far, nobody dying from this. Tight Hunter, he is too tanky, he is just gonna get ignored. And instead, it will be Tiny dying on the top lane to a very fat KNP Faceless Void. Faceless Void now coming in from behind, looking for a good Chronosphere, which is still available as Queen of Pain. Yes. Man fighting up Lan.
starting off with those supports, Lan gets a nice purge from the Oracle, but that purge is not going to be enough to keep the Crystal Maiden alive, as now that bad rider gets turned on, gets killed off as well, double kill. And yeah, that's going to be two lanes of Rex down, Yang on Galacticos, they can't really fight for another, well, that's always up at 14 seconds, I guess. But there is just one lane of Rex standing, everybody is super fat and Chronosphere is available. So a smoke it is, and they will find the bad rider. Not even commit the Chronosphere as he is just gonna go on down. AT, the next target, and that is gonna be a one man Chronosphere because Void, he has got some fancy damage he would like to show up. Is immediately gonna turn onto the Oracle instead, who did just commit the false promise. Running after the Tiny, still dishing him a good amount of damage. Bad Rider comes in to try and save Tiny's life with the BKB. It's gonna get himself killed out of it. Now BKB wears off. Bad Rider has to get himself back. Will not succeed in doing so in time as Tiny gets killed up and so will Bad Rider. Crystal Maiden going for an amazing freezing field. But guess what? It's not so amazing when the enemy just drops the BKB and keeps hitting you instead. I mean, you forced BKB out, that's a lot for his support, but that is an ultra kill for KNP. And with that, Yudi Vezuan, today where they have to pay two best of twos in a row.